Uh, Aaron Weisselberg is charged with accepting more than $1.7 million in off-the-books compensation. So what are prosecutors saying happened there? For 15 years, Diane, prosecutors with the Manhattan District Attorney's Office said Alan Weisselberg ran a scheme to help the Trump Organization avoid taxes by paying certain executives off the books, including himself. And, and that he was able to avoid, prosecutors said, nearly $2 million in taxes because he was paid in things like a, an apartment, a luxury apartment, a couple of Mercedes-Benz cars, one for himself, one for his wife, tuition at a private school for his grandchildren. Other executives were paid with similar perks, and, and they never paid taxes on it, allegedly. Weisselberg is due here in court any minute now, set to plead guilty to a 15-count indictment. He's going to plead to all 15 counts, we're told, and then he is going to have to testify against the company where he has worked for more than 40 years. Uh, we've also learned, Aaron, that this expected guilty plea is part of a plea deal. So what do you think both Weisselberg and prosecutors will be getting out of this? So Weisselberg is going to uh, have to serve, we think, uh, five months in prison because of this. It's not the 15 years he faced, potentially. And so prosecutors are going to get the benefit of his testimony against the Trump Organization in this compensation scheme. But, but there, there is a deficiency here, I think. This was never the case that prosecutors really were after. When they first charged Weisselberg, I think they hope he flipped against the former president as part of a broader criminal investigation into how Trump conducts his business affairs. And, and Weisselberg, ever the loyal soldier, is not going to cooperate against the former president himself. He will provide testimony against the company, not against the former president. And former President Trump pleaded the fifth during a deposition in New York last week. So how could this expected guilty plea by Weisselberg affect Trump's vulnerability in that case? Well, officially, the Manhattan DA still has an ongoing criminal investigation involving the former president. So it's no surprise that he would take the fifth in that parallel civil investigation by the New York Attorney General's office, because anything he would have said there could have been used in this criminal case uh, should the, the Manhattan DA decide to go forward. So the, the cases are interrelated. But Weisselberg is managing to, to thread a very fine line here, Diane. He is going to plead guilty to the tax charges against him, but he is not going to turn on someone he has known uh, since Trump was a kid. All right, Aaron Kutersky, our investigative reporter. We appreciate it, Aaron. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.